Hey everyone, welcome again to our weekly Amazon for Beginners class or Zoom. Um, and today I'm just gonna go over like a few products so you guys can learn how to pick the right products for your Amazon store. So if you guys didn't know, I'll show you guys the basics of how to do online arbitrage for Amazon, right? So, so first you look for products from different stores like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, and some other online retailers like Corel.com, Joanne.com, um, and other like online retailers, right? So for example, this product, this product is from Corel.com, an online retailer. And the price of this product from this website or store is about $7. Let me see, $7, seven, six. And this one is a six set uh, or a six piece set uh, on Amazon. So seven times six is uh, for, for two. So this one is about like $42 from, from the retailer and the selling price on Amazon is 48. I'm not sure why it's so low though. Let's see. But yeah. So you guys get products from stores for um, a lower cost and then resell them on a higher cost on Amazon, right? And on this Zoom, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that exactly. So, so first we gotta make sure that the products are matching. Right, it's a Corel plate for $7. And then this one is the same Corel plate on Amazon. This one is a set of six though, right there. And I don't know why it's so high from this retailer. Unless I'm missing a coupon here. I don't see any. So seven times six pieces, right? Right there. It's about it's about like $42. And the selling price on Amazon is 48 or 45, which makes it negative. Yeah, this one's a bad example, actually. Yeah, this one is not going to work out. So here I would put negative ROI because the price on this website is not giving us any profit, right? If it sells it, if it sells their product on Amazon, so. From here, we move on to the next product. So this product is about $24 on Amazon and about $8 from joanne.com, right? And then it's also giving us a 10% cashback on Rakuten right there. So if you see this, I would click on activate 10% cashback. It's the same product. So 48 sheet, 12 by 12. Scrap of paper, okay. The same. And then Rackets in 10%, right? So now we plug in 879 on seller amp, right here, 79. And then we also plug in the Rackets in discount code of 10%, right there. It's pretty good. So this one is giving us a 58% ROI. Sales per month is 36. It's a variation. So again, you go to variations right there. It auto selects the exact variation and then you check it. So this exact variation is getting about 57% of all the sales. So 57% of this number. So 36 times 0.37 is about 20 sales a month. And 
And from here, we look at the other sellers. And then now you have to decide, right? Are you willing to do buy a product that's selling 20 times in a month with this many sellers on the listing and it's giving you a minimum of 58% ROI? And then I also want to look at the Keepa chart. So the price seems to be trending up, which is good. Would you guys do it? Hey, Gerilda, how are you? Good. So 20 sales a month with this many people on the listing and it's giving you a 58% ROI. Would you guys do it? Let's see in the chat. Let me open up another tab while we wait. See the chat. So Wayne's a no. How about you, Gerilda? So 20 sales a month with this many people at 58% ROI. And then if you look at the keep it short. I mean, it looks good to me. The price seems to be trending up. So Jerry's a test buy. And then Gerald is a 58% is a lot. So yeah, to me, this is going to be a slow selling product, I would say. Or maybe like a decent selling, you know, uh, selling product based on what sales velocity versus number of sellers. But it's giving you a high ROI, right? So I would say... Um, would I buy it? I probably buy it. I'll do like a test by a five. So test by a five. Mm. Product might sell slow, but ROI is really high. So because of the high ROI, or man, and you and you even getting to see, huh? I mentioned this earlier. So if you add your email here, you're getting another 25% off. So you can even add 25% off. So now you double your margins, right? You're getting 119% ROI. So yeah, it's gonna be good. 190% oh. ROI with mm, coupons. Yeah. Yeah, so this one I probably buy. Just because of the high ROI. So there's that. <clears throat> Next product. Chit chat. Doesn't that give you more room to have the best price way cheaper than everyone else? Yes. So the higher the ROI, the better, because you can be be the, be the cheapest price. And if you're the cheapest price, um, you're more likely to get the buy box. So you're more likely to get the sale. So yes. So this one is $19.99. And then on Amazon, it's about... 40 bucks, okay. Sales per month is 37. It's a variation. So again, you go to variations, you pick the variation and check. So this variation is getting about half of the, of the sales. Okay. So with this one, the two variations, right? So the small and medium of the same color Oh, it's so small though. I was gonna say you can do half, half small and half medium if you want, because there's there's only two variations, right, of the same color. So you um you do half and half for each variation, but the problem is there's no small here on this website. 
So unless you want to take the extra step, you can source the same product and look for a small size small. And you can, you know, um, have both. So, so half of 37 is about, how much is that, 18? So 18 sales a month, which is not the best. With this many people and you're getting a 29% ROI. Minimum. And then keep us in stable. I mean, the bottom price is like 40 bucks. So there's really no risk here as far as the price. I mean, the concern here though is, let's see. Actually, no, hold on a second. So here on their monthly sold, it's selling at 50 times a month. So I guess the only concern with this is the increase in seller count, right? Right here. So the question is, would you guys do it? So I want to say based on the Keepa chart, right? So 50 sales a month. And we're gonna split that in half because there's this exact variation is getting half of the sales right there. So let's just say this product is selling at 25 times a month with this many people in the listing, with this much ROI minimum, would you guys do it? So Jerry said I'm not feeling it. Okay. Anyone else? Let's see. So Gerald is maybe, I mean, this one's gonna be just a personal choice, right? I mean, I think it's pretty decent still. So like 20, 25 sales a month with this many people. There, um, there's a lot of sellers here, but I usually price myself at the lowest. So I'm getting a minimum of 29% ROI, which is pretty good. So I do have some room if, you know, to go and lower my price if needed. And also the buy box is at $41 right now. So, you know, I think it's pretty good, except that the sales per month is low. So this one, I would say is very similar to the last product. Um, I'll do a test by a five. So product might sell slow because ROI is really great. You know, product might sell slow, but ROI is really high. Well, not really high, but high in this one. High, so 29% ROI. Yeah, for this one, I mean, it's still pretty good. It's going to be a slow seller, but it doesn't really matter because you're only buying a test by a five, right? And then you have enough. ROI here to lower your price if needed. So I would think you um you can sell five units of this product, even if it's low. So so it's not the best product out there, but still something. Especially if you're trying to scale, right? If you're buying five pieces of this one, you're, you're you can add like a hundred bucks onto your spend. So your yeah, next product, you're getting 10% off if you give them your email. There's that. Um, 741. So Breville. Yeah, this is a Breville, okay. It's good. SP0001575. Man. So this one is SP0. So I would just see if it's the same product number. Um, 
because it's not really saying here. It's not showing either. Mm. Let's see if this is going to be on the other one. It's not either. Well, wow. yeah, this one they look the same. I'm just not sure if they're really the same products. Because the picture is not even really good. You know, it's just hard to know. Plus, on here it's saying review, and this is the number or Or the model number is this one here, right? On on Amazon, and then here, it's different. Felt washer SB zero 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 one five seven five, and plus plus the ROI is really high, which makes me makes me um suspicious already. <laughs> Yeah, this one is a lot of red flags, so so ROI is really high, which makes me very suspicious. And then the photos, you can't even really tell by the photos. Um, the part number is this on the website, and then it's not showing on Amazon, and then on Amazon it's showing a different number. So this one is too many red flags. Then I'm just gonna skip it. Wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So here it says, is that the same? Oh, it's not the same. No, it's not. Okay, sorry. Never mind. So yeah, you guys agree in the chat? So this one is too many red flags, right? Yeah, so we'll put too risky to buy products. Not look like the same ones. There you go. And then Jerry has a question in the chat. Let's see what it said. So are these the products your VAs are sourcing? Yes. So these are products that my VAs are sourcing, and they gave this to me just for example purposes. So yeah. All right, next product. So $23.99. And then you have coupon codes here too. So 10% off the order of $85. Okay. Okay. So let's just say we're going to order $150 worth of products, right? So we're getting 20% off. And this one is $23.99. Look at here, $23.99. And then if you order $150 worth of products, we're getting 20% off. So I'm going to put 20% off under discounts. So sales per month is 25. ROI is now 53%. So 20 sales a month with this many people at 54% ROI minimum. And then keep a keep a seem stable. Price is sitting at about like $48. Consistently, I mean, number of sales are going up. Let's see the chat. So, Gerald is a yes. Should be the cheapest, she said. I agree. So, yeah, this is very similar to the other two products. Sales per month is really low. Um, competition is decent. Um, not too many people. But the ROI is at 54% minimum. So if you price here, you're going to be in the front of the line, right? And you're going to have enough room to lower your price as needed. 
So for these type of products, I don't usually overbuy because. Oh, but with this one, you need to because of the discount. So 25. I mean, not too much. You need to order at least like six pieces to get 20% off. So, you know, it's still a safe number, right? So do a test by of six to get 20% off discount. Mm. Might oh might so slow, but ROI is really high at fifty eight percent. Oh, mess it up. Oh man, what what happened? I messed it up. Uh. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> this is listen. So my so slow, but ROI is really high. Fifteen percent. You guys agree? So. That's really it, you guys. Any questions? Do you guys have any questions? Um, the um monthly off subscription offer you have for the list for the items. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have to be um cleared on Amazon to sell those? Cleared on Amazon, or, you mean gated? When, when I, ungated? Yeah. Are those ungated products that you don't have to get uh, approved mm. to sell? It's both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you selling on Amazon already? or? I'm trying. I keep searching. and I'll search for a couple of hours and everything that I mm -hmm. find. You have to get permission. <laughs> you have to apply to sell. Yeah. That's how it is in the beginning. So, I mean, have you made also, your, your sale already or no? You're still learning or what? I haven't made a sale. I've set everything up. I also opened up the Amazon business account so I can just buy five items off of that and perhaps get uh, clear to sell that item. Mm. Um, I heard that was a way to get, you know, an easier way to get clearance oh, to be or approval. Ungated? Um, not necessarily ungated because some of the stuff that I had searched to list or to sell, it wasn't gated, but you had to request permission to sell it, just like basic stuff, not mm. you know, not Nike or something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, the list would help, so I mean, I can send you a message after Zoom if you want. Okay, yeah, so Jerry's asking you, Gerald, I think. What's the advantage of getting an Amazon business account as opposed to not having one? So I had read that if you buy um, products from the Amazon business account and when you go to sell something and it asks you to submit the invoice, that invoice from the Amazon business account will suffice. But like if you went to Walmart and bought it, that wouldn't. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I'm not really too sure about that one. So, um, but what I do know is that if you're gated or as, as a new seller, um, you need to be selling a lot that you um of products that you can sell in the beginning. That way you can be out on gated later. So that's what I know. It's just been like everything that I look up, you have to re apply to sell. That's what it said. It says mm -hmm. apply to sell this item, apply to sell this item. And when I do, like, if I do a generic thing, when, um, I think, what is that? Oh, just on the seller central account. And I look up a product and on the side navigation, um, it'll have like all the different brands and then it'll have generic. So if I click on generic, 
it mm. seems like a few of those you don't have to request to sell but then when you click on it it looks you know it is the branded item but i guess just other people had listed it as generic so they could get it listed without having to get permission to sell it under the brand oh, okay yeah you can sell everything in the beginning so um i would just sell ungated products that's yeah. just been the difficult of, of finding those ungated products or products that you could sell without having mm. to apply to sell. Okay. Well, I mean, the list is going to help you for sure. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it helps out with um, like selling ungated products in the beginning. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's all I have. Okay. Awesome. Does anyone have any other questions? We good for tonight? <laughs> I guess we're good. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you guys next week then, okay? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bye -bye. Thanks Jerry. See you. Bye-bye.